Welcome to the Manana Ventures YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. I am your tutor, Figure Storm. Today we'll be doing the topic of shear force diagrams. Okay, so let's get right into it. Shear force diagrams, just select the name suggests, has to do with the forces. Okay, we have been given forces 5 kilonewtons, 1 kilonewton per meter. 5 kilonewton, 7 kilonewton, and 1 kilonewton. Okay. So we will identify some critical points. That's the first thing to do. We have a critical point there, critical point there, critical point, and critical points at the end. That's what matters. So the first critical point is that what we're going to do is a step by step force walking. We will force walk. So, for example, it says 5 kilonewtons moving up. That's the first force we encounter. So, we're going to move up 5 kilonewtons. Put our ruler there. We'll move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. There's our 5 kilonewtons. We moved up there, 5 kilonewtons. The second force we encounter is this UDL. It's one kilonewton per meter, okay? And it totals a span of six kilonewtons. So it's one kilonewton per meter times six, which gives us six kilonewtons, okay? So at this critical point, what we're going to do is that we've gone five. We're going to subtract the six, which gives us a minus one. So at this critical point, we are at minus 1. And because it's a UDL, it's a diagonal movement. The UDL always moves diagonal when it comes to the shear force diagram. Let's just complete that. Right, so we are at minus 1. One. Okay. At this space from here to here, there is nothing there. So we just move right across the horizontal line. We are constant. There is no movement. Now, we are moving another 5 kilonewtons going down. So what we're going to do now is move 5 from there. Okay. Let us count once again. We're gonna count from we're gonna count five steps. So we move one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So having moved 5, it's minus 1, minus 5, which gives us a minus 6. Okay. To the next critical point, it's constant. There is no movement there. So we just move a constant. Just like that. Now, we have a force moving up 7 kilonewtons. Right? So, once again... Put our ruler, we're going to count 7 from that 6. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which brings us there. So minus 6 plus 7 gives us a 1. That's a positive 1. Okay? And from there to there is another constant movement so we just draw it across like that and then from there it, we move down one kilometer so we just go one that completes our shear force diagram it's negative this side it's positive there and it's positive there Okay, and these are all in 
kilonewtons. Okay? Kilonewtons. And that completes our shear force diagram. Thank you very much.